Kelly Yee, Power 105 Breakfast Club, and my girl. Hey. How are you doing? Hi, I'm good. How are you, Miss Sharon I Carpenter? Am good. And congratulations, of course, are in order. You have a weekend show that is about to be syndicated. Yes, Talk yes. to us about that. Well, it's called Weekends with the Breakfast Club, and it's, of course, me, Envy, and Charlemagne. So it's going to be a lot of the great interviews that we do during the week, plus original content from, you know, Rumor Report and Ask You My Advice segment, Charlemagne's Donkey of the Week. Envy has a mini mix. So it's exciting for us. Yeah, good stuff. Now, as the only female on this team, you have to, to deal with these two wild, <laughs> wild guys. How do you handle them? How do you handle that? Well, you know what? I am used to being the only female as part of a team. I mean, I worked at Wu-Tang. I was like the only girl around a bunch of guys all the time. I worked at Shade 45. I was the only girl in the room then, too. And now I'm the only girl in the room again. So, you know, it's I'm used to it. In dealing with hip hop, very male dominated world. Mm -hmm. Does it ever get tricky being a female? Uh, I think it hurts and it helps. It just depends on the situation. I mean, sometimes, of course, you know, guys don't take you as seriously just because you're a female. Like, they might walk in the room and give everybody a pound except you and you're just sitting there looking stupid. Because, oh, yeah, they don't know who you are. Yeah. But then other times it's easier to get those meetings and stuff like that just because you are a female, you easier know? Easier to so, get that attention. Right. right. Like, guys would sometimes much rather go to lunch with, you know, me or you than Charlemagne. <laughs> <laughs> it's not so sexy True. then. You guys are not afraid to ask the tough questions, the mm -hmm. questions that sting, right. right? At least it seems like you're not afraid. Do you ever get nervous with certain artists when you know you've got to ask them something that they're just not going to like? Well, I would say this. I try to gauge things. I'm way more subtle. Charlemagne would just go right in and do it. And I think most people that come to our show are going to expect that. Like, they know when they come to the show, if they did something stupid or something crazy just happened, it's going to come up. Has anyone ever gotten to the point where they were like, you know what, I'm never doing this show again? Like, this is it. You guys just, like, disrespected me. <laughs> you know what? I don't think nobody... There's people that will probably never do the show in the first place. But I don't think there's people like that would... Who? They say then like Drake is never gonna come on our show. That's I don't right, think yeah. Future is ever gonna come on our show. I'm trying to think who else. Keisha Cole's probably never gonna come back because of Charlamagne. <laughs> but I think most people that have been on the show, they realize that they get a lot of attention, you know, from the interview. Of course, Kate Fox is uh, the woman on the Hot 97 Morning Show. Mm -hmm. Do you guys like? Is there tension between the two of you? Well, I definitely don't feel like she likes me too much, but <laughs> I don't know. But I mean, I don't really, I never really knew her that well. Like I've seen her out and about sometimes now, you know, there is a little bit of tension, but it's not really on my part. I think it's more on her part. I think she feels uncomfortable when I'm around. Do you feel that people pit you and Kate Fox against each other because you are the two females in this situation? No, I don't really feel like that because I don't think that our responsibilities are the same. Like what she does isn't the same as what I do at Power 105. In what way? I mean, me, Charlamagne, and Envy, we're equals on our show. For her, you know, it's Cypher and Rosenberg show, and she's part of that show. So it's a little bit of a different responsibility. It was a job that I was offered first that I didn't take because- Hot 97. Right? Yes, because I wanted to be an equal. Erica Mina, I've got to ask you about that situation. Of course, she doesn't like you too much. Yeah. And we all heard that she was waiting outside the radio station for you mm -hmm. one day. What actually happened? Well, I think, you know, she has an issue with me because this is how I look at it. If you put yourself on television and you do silly things, people are going to call you out on it. I mean, that's what you're on TV for. I'm pretty sure that you're doing those things on purpose. You, you want to show off and show out and get on more episodes and whatever it is you do, because sometimes bad behavior gets rewarded. If your singing sucks, I'm going to, you know, we're going to tweet about it, just like I talk about everything that happens on the show. Then I look on Twitter and she's um, putting up Instagram pictures of her outside the job, like with a box of donuts and like football makeup, I guess like, I don't know, quarterback makeup. And she is like, I got donuts, I don't know. It was weird. It was like two degrees outside, you know. It's like almost six o'clock in the morning. It was just... So was she actually threatening you physically? She didn't do anything. I mean, I walked right past her, so I feel like that was your opportunity to throw a frozen donut at me right then. Does that, does that make you nervous? Because we all heard about Charlemagne when he was attacked outside the radio station and you as a woman, you know, coming there so early in the morning and it is very deserted to know, you know, people know where you guys come in. 
I now. mean, are you extra cautious about that now? Well, I think this. I park. I can see who's on the block. If something looks crazy to me, you know, the police station is right there. I don't. I just came to work the next day like normal. I didn't really think much of it, but you know, my job was concerned, and obviously there's been a police report that's been made. So I feel like if you try to do something, it's probably gonna harm you more than it'll harm me.